Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where yes, I might look a little different for obvious reasons. First off, I want to thank FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. Second off, I figured since, you know, I'm having fun answering your questions and going through my FabFitFun, I thought I would have fun with my look today. Eh, eh, eh. What do we think? What do we think? I'm kind of loving the pink. So before I get on into you guys' burning questions, I did ask you once again on my community tab to ask me some stuff and I picked out, well, a variety of the questions that you asked me. Before I get into that, as I said, FabFitFun was kind enough to sponsor this video, so I want to give you guys a rundown of FabFitFun first because I'm going to be testing out the products while I answer your questions. So if you are unfamiliar, FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box. So four times a year, you will get a box full of goodies that fit into the FabFitFun name. There will be full-size fashion, beauty, fitness, and lifestyle products, and FabFitFun is available in the US, the UK, and Canada. I personally love that they allow you to customize your box, whether you do subscribe season to season, or if you subscribe for a whole year at once, you get to customize parts of your box. Now, if you do it for the whole year, the annual subscription, you do get to customize even more, which I personally think is fabulous. Some of these products are worth more than the box even retails for, so you're getting more than your money's worth with each box. You guys know I just love testing out new products of all kinds, be it beauty, be it lifestyle, all that stuff. So FabFitFun is perfect for me in that there's a bunch of different products I get to try each season, and it always seems to be products that either I've been wanting to try or I have never heard of it before and then I try it out and I end up falling in love with it. So I've got the summer FabFitFun box here with me and I'm excited to go through the products with you all while I answer your questions. Basically, we're getting ready for the heat wave that is about to hit us, at least here in the States. Getting us prepped with some tools and beauty products and whatnot to beat the heat as they tend to say, or in my case, there's no beating the heat. You just gotta cope with it the best you can, and these products are definitely gonna help me do so. If you want to support me and my channel and also get some goodies for yourself, please do go ahead and use my link down below as well as my code THRIFT10 so that you can get $10 off of your first FabFitFun box. Now let's get on into the questions where I'll look different than this, <laughs> but enjoy. All right, hello. Step number one of today's little routine. I've got some curl activator, which I'm gonna need. I've got some day old hair here. And then I've also got one of my choice products for this season's FabFitFun box. This is AG Hair Care Recoil Curl Activator. This is gonna separate and hold the curls without stiffness or stickiness. And it just says to scrunch a small amount evenly through clean, wet hair. I know, it, it did say clean. And I did say day old. <laughs> Whatever. Let me get my hair wet. All right, wet hair. First things first. I gotta smell it. Haha, -ha, first things actually first. Take off that safety seal. Oh, I was not expecting that. It's like a salon smell mixed with a pina colada. While I work this in, they said a small amount. Is that... That feels small to me, <laughs> but I'm gonna honor the very first person that got to my questions post, and that was from Peggy. Peggy wants to know where I see myself in five years, and also I feel like quite a few people actually ended up asking this question. Looks-wise, what kind of men do I typically go for? I have no idea about the five years. <laughs> I never know, but hopefully there's the typical, you know, I hope I and my family and friends are healthy and happy and doing well. Galileo and Fig are thriving. Oh, weird. Galileo, he'll be 14, won't he? Crazy. Fig will be 10? If we pretend I'm 31 already, only like a month and a half away, but like I'll be 36. Craziness. I hope I've found my person. <laughs> And I've been able to settle in with my person and we've got a house together and both doing well in whatever career we're doing at the moment. <laughs> you know, I've never been one to have super duper solid plans for my future. I feel like I do loose outlines 
and then fill it in as I go. But in terms of my type, I don't have like a super set type. I find many people very attractive. I really am the kind of person that finds personality more attractive than looks or appearances. But I would say upon like first glance and also just like my history of relationships, I tend to end up with, and I know a lot of people <laughs> It is that whole thing where, why do the short girls always get the tall guys? I don't know. I mean, I you don't need to be super duper tall in order to be tall in comparison to me. I'm only 5'2", but uh, I do tend to be with tall guys. I am attracted to tall guys, but I would say more than anything, a nice smile and typically a bit lankier, typically brown, black, dark brown hair. Tall, dark, and nerdy. Yeah, let's go with that. Tall, dark, and nerdy. That's what I typically go for. And now we wait to see how my curls do. I will let you all know in just a second here. All right, hair is feeling mostly dry. Certainly have curls. I mean, I don't think they look any better or worse than they always do. I mean, I can certainly attest to them not feeling crunchy or anything, so that's good. Maybe they are a little bouncier than usual. Hmm, I'm not mad. Not at all. Prepped this earlier. What, you want some ice? Cute little pineapples. <laughs> Look how stinking cute. They've even got the little lines on them. I can't, those are so cute. Well, lemon. I have always wanted one of these squeezers. Let's go, lemon juice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, strawberry lemonade. And you know it's gonna taste better with those cute little pineapple ice cubes in there. Alrighty, we are back here. I am ready to cleanse and go to bed, basically. <laughs> so I am excited to try out this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Purifying Cleanser with salicylic acid, tea tree oil, and white willow bark. I feel like Dr. Brandt is a pretty well-known, well-respected skincare brand. I'm currently using an eye cream from them that I love. They do a good safety seal, so they got my respect. But while I try this out, another question. Kristen wants to know why I think it's so hard for me to find love. Well, Kristen, this is a question that probably has many different answers. I don't know which of them are the most accurate answers, but I think it's a mix of... <sighs> By the way, this PMD device was one of the choices for the FabFitFun this season, but I already have one, so that's why I didn't choose it, but I do love it. I use this every night on my face. But I think, you know, the love that I have been able to find, romantic love we're talking here, or at least that's how I'm interpreting <laughs> the question, but I think it's been a mixture of bad timing and or also, I don't like saying I'm picky because I feel like that carries negative connotations, but I think that has to do with it. I am. I'm picky. Not picky in a nitpicky way, you know? I don't write someone off because, you know, they've got bad skin or because not all of their jokes land or something, you know? Like, that's not what I'm talking about. But, like, I'm picky in the sense that I know what morals I have and what I think is important in a relationship that I'm not willing to bend on. And by that I mean religion, kids, lifestyle, you know, the stuff that actually is like a really big part of any relationship that not only should I not have to bend my thoughts on those things, but they shouldn't have to change theirs either. Like if they want kids right here and now or like within the next couple of years, I can't give that to them. I'm not at a point where I could have children right now. I wouldn't want to do that until I am way more financially stable. Because kids cost a lot of money. This cleanser is like a jelly. It feels good though. Doesn't have an offensive odor. It's hard to tell after one try, but yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. I'm just not in a rush. I take things at my own pace. Ah, 
My skin actually does. It feels very nice and soft and smooth. So now, after cleansing at night, I like to go in with a serum. I'm gonna try out this Sensuals Facial Serum with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and Edelweiss plant stem cells in it. It's gonna help improve the look of the skin and preserve it from external damage. So it's two to four drops in the palm. We'll do three right in the middle. Rub them together and then pat it into the skin. Oh, it smells like orange juice. Mm. I feel like a lot of vitamin C type serums don't smell great. <laughs> but this smells like straight up orange juice. That's fantastic. I just said fantastic <laughs> if my hands are a little too in the way there. And then y'all know I'm obsessed with lip care and lip balms. So with this next question from is it Megan or is it Megan? I'm unsure. But you ask if I could go back in time. Is there any situations or are there any situations that I would change? Decisions I would change? Basically, do I got any regrets? <laughs> so while I answer that, let me put on this lip mask that was included in my FabFitFun. This is PETA certified, cruelty free, and vegan Seraphine Botanicals Fruit Butter Lip Mask. Sounds glorious. <gasps> it smells like cinnamon rolls. <sighs> like fruity cinnamon rolls. And it's pink. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Feels, oh my god, it smells like, yeah, cinnamon roll frosting. <sighs> Kind of what I would imagine it feels like to put on cinnamon roll frosting too. <laughs> but you know, honestly, going back in time, regrets, all that kind of stuff, I try not to. You know, I do my best. Do I have regrets? Yeah. You know, I coulda, shoulda, woulda said something differently, done something differently, handled a situation differently, but I think overall that's just a part of life and that's a part of what has made my character. You know, believe it or not, you know, the things that I would change or whatever that immediately come to mind, like I said, are things that I've said to people or done to people. While I would want to take them back because I know how hurtful they were and how wrong it was of me to say those things at the time, I think, you know, me asking for forgiveness and expressing my remorse and all of that stuff, I think it has only helped to strengthen those bonds with those people. It's only a couple people that I'm thinking of, but I coulda, shoulda, woulda somehow kept this person in my life longer or, you know, done something different with my schooling or whatever else. It just, it's not worth nitpicking over in terms of having regrets over it because like I said it has shaped me into the person I am today and I don't think I'm too bad of a person and also you know we can't change the past so I don't like to spend time looking back on it negatively or regretfully I just like to learn from it and move forward the best I can I like to believe that things do happen for a reason so that's I try and stick with that narrative Oh, but one decision I would change, starting YouTube way sooner than I did. I wanted to start YouTube probably like two or so years before I actually did. I wish I would have done it sooner. There, there's one decision that I would have changed. My life would be extremely different. I don't know if it would be for the better or for the worse, but if I could change anything, I think I would start YouTube sooner. There you have it, my friends. There was everything that I got in my FabFitFun box for this season. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got and also seeing the products in action. I also hope you enjoyed hearing answers to some of your questions. I apologize, I'm not able to get to everybody. However, I hope it was still enjoyable for you to hear me answer your questions. As I said in the beginning, if you want to get your own FabFitFun box, please do go ahead use my code in the link below. Get yourself $10 off of your first box. Thank you once again to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you have any more questions for me, I'll be sure to answer some of them in the comments down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be, by giving it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can simply tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.